Now we're here today to see if we can lift this car with the hair that came from this head. Now the theory says that we should be able to, but theory is one thing and reality is often another. Step one is to gather as much high quality alpha keratin hair fibre as we can get. He has amazing hair, looks beautiful. Take it off. Tim is the first of our lovely volunteers who donate their locks to science. His hair fell on the dust 12 years ago. You're kidding. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a full pony. Oh wow. So, with a briefcase of fibres, it's off to find an expert to see if our plan is possible. How exactly do you go from hair to trying to lift a whole car? Uh, well, if, if, uh, if you look at a single hair fibre, it mm -hmm. can take a weight of about 80 grams. Mm -hmm. So if you want to lift a car of, say, 1,000 kilograms, you're going to need 12,500 uh, fibres. Mm -hmm. Uh, the challenge is that w we need to assemble those fibres into some sort of rope. <laughs> Step two of our plan. The fine ladies of the Geelong Hand Weavers and Spinners Guild spin the hair into yarn. Now look at those wheels go. No electricity here. It's twisting and oh. catching on the bob on there. Why? Because it's twisting. Because it's hairy. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Step three, professional rope maker Greg Smith uses traditional methods to turn the hanks of hair into rope. We get a lot of strange requests, but this is the first one we've had for human hair. In the process of turning into rope, we're going to lose an amount of strength. The uncertainties are, you know, how strong is it as an assembly? There's certainly more than enough fibres in here if they can all be load-bearing to pick up the car. Now, it'd be crazy madness to go straight to the car. So we'll start off with the 46 kilogram washing machine. Then we'll try and lift Tim, 118 kilograms, who provided a lot of the hair that went into this. Then we'll try and lift 500 kilograms of concrete lump. And if that goes okay, we'll try and lift the 1,000 kilogram car. Now, there's an old saying among the scientists, if you don't make a mistake, you don't make anything. A live audience has joined us at the CSIRO in Geelong. There's a lot of pressure, so let's give it a go. Okay, Jeff, let her rip. Oh. I knew it was going to work. You knew it was going to work? Yeah, yeah, we knew it was going to work. There's no worries about that. Okay, we did the 46 kilogram uh, washing machine. We got through our nano moment of truth. Now we're heading for the micro moment of truth. We're going to try and increase the load. Now, if we couldn't have got through the washing machine, it would have been such an embarrassment to all these fine people who actually made our wonderful rope. So let's bring it up to Dr. Tim. Any last wishes, Dr. Tim? See you on the other side. And then a rip, Jeff. Tim weighs around 118 kilograms, almost three times the washing machine. Rope's about to start taking my weight. There, there it goes. It's starting to lift me. I am off the mattress and you, floating. You achieve transcendental meditation lift off? Something along those lines. Okay, just let go then. Or do you need and a hand? And oh. So you're being supported entirely by your own hair and the labour of all the people who put it together. Yep. Wow. Thank you. How does that feel, Dr. Tim? I knew it would work. <laughs> so I guess I feel justified. OK, let's see where we go on stage three then. Do you think she'll be able to take 500 kilograms, 550? I'm holding my breath. I think so. <laughs> Don't know if I'd put the farm on it. OK, Jeff. Let her rip me. Right, get right. 380, 400, 450 kilograms, 500, 552, it's taking 552 kilograms! Oh my god, it actually worked! 552 kilograms! <laughs> god bless you, Alpha Keratin Fibers! The rope has held 550 kilograms, but how will it go with our late model sedan? We have passed through the forest of fear. We have gone along the avenue of anticipation, and now we are in the clearing of cool calm. This is the big moment. This is the moment of truth. Dr. Jeff, let her rip.
10, 20 kilograms, 60, 100, 230, 350, 400, 550, 600, 600, 700! Oh my God, it got to 760 kilograms at the exact moment that the road broke. The heavens opened and started raining. Tears of sadness because we failed, but tears of happiness because we succeeded. Because science is about not just about success, science is about trying to understand the universe. Science is a process of trying to learn about the world. And we have learned that this rope can do 760 kilograms. That's about one third of the ultimate strength if we had all of the fibres perfectly lined up. I reckon we did really well. It um, lifted far more than I thought it would. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised that it lifted three quarters of a tonne. I really don't need to see any more hair rope ever again. <laughs> no, not human hair. Never, ever again. Tim, thank you very this much. This is your hair. And one day in the future, when we meet again, we can put the two ends together. And Shazam, the universe will blossom into a new consciousness, or else we'll get superpowers or something good like that. Sounds good. Thanks, mate. Cheers.